our project, first project for the Summer Art Challenge is stick figures, foil stick figures. And you can make a bigger one that's sitting down, or you can have your figures standing up. In order to make these foil stick figures, you're going to need some tin foil. You're going to need um, some chenille stems. You're going to need either two full ones or one that's cut in half for the smaller figure. You're going to need an old a recycled box of food to use for the stand. Um, and you're going to need some scissors, okay? So let's get started. Okay, for our tin foil stick figures, let's start with the one that's standing. This one's been made with a just one chenille stick that's been cut in half, okay? And we're going to use a piece of a food box. You can use a cereal box. You can see this one's Cheez-Its. We're gonna need some tape, okay? So let's start by <clears throat> using a half of our chenille stem. Okay, we're gonna make the head like this, and we're going to crisscross like this, okay? So it's a loop for the head, and then it's crisscrossed like this. We're gonna bend these up because in a minute, those are gonna become the arms, okay? So this is what it's going to look like, okay? Then I'm gonna take the other half of my chenille stem, and I'm gonna fold it in half like this. Just bend it in two, okay? And I'm going to slip it through that head like this, like that, okay? Then I'm gonna pinch it here, okay, right here. And then I'm going to start twisting those two, ones in the front, ones in the back, and I'm starting to twist them. And this is gonna make the body, and then these two sticking out here are going to be the arms of our person, okay? Then I have the two legs and the two arms and the head just that fast, okay? Then the arms, you can decide what you wanna do. Maybe one's up, one's up waving, maybe the other one's on its hip like that. You decide what you want to do. Bend your feet. Um, maybe this one's kicking up straight up like that. You could potentially just leave it um, like this without any foil on it, just a chenille stem figure, and put it on your stand like that with some tape. Um, and that would be pretty cute. But if you want to have the tin foil, we're going to start with a fairly large piece of tin foil. Rip that off. Okay. <clears throat> and then I like to start with two pieces of tin foil about this big. Okay. And you're just going to really start squishing it on um, and squeezing the shape that you'd like it to have. Um, you do want to make sure that you squeeze it nice and tight so that it stays on and little pieces of foil don't start to foil, fall off, okay? Then I'm gonna take another piece. This is gonna become this arm and hand sticking out like this. And again, I'm squeezing that foil. Foil's really fun to work with because it's super easy to work with. And then I'm gonna bend that hand back up again like that. Okay, <clears throat> then I'm going to do the other arm with a piece of foil about this big. Squeeze it around that. Okay. And this one's going to get bent back down like it was. Okay. And you just keep doing that little pieces of foil until your whole figure is covered. Working down the leg and the top part of that body a little bit. On the foot. Okay. I'm not gonna take the time to be super careful right now, but you can see you just keep squeezing that foil nice and tight so it stays on. And then you're going to have a shiny stick person. And then, um, if I want my stick person to be standing up, I am going to use a piece of clear tape. Once these are all nicely covered with foil, if you want to do that. I'm gonna get my stand ready and my piece of tape ready. And I'm gonna take that foot onto the stand like that. You could also glue it in on with hot melt glue, whatever works for you. And I have a silly standing stick figure. 
Okay, so for the bigger one, I made my guy so that he could sit down. Okay, it's basically the same routine. Um, you make the figure with two chenille stems and you do it exactly the same way. Okay, I'm going to start like this and maybe even give a little twist like this and these are those longer arms coming out like that. This stem, I'm gonna fold in half like this and give a little squeeze. Thread this through the head just like we did with the other one. Okay, and I'm going to um, start my twisting. First of all, squeeze it up here. I'm gonna start my twisting so that it's nice and tight so that I have a body for this person. And actually, this person could stand up also. It'd just be a taller figure. Um, and again, here's the same thing. Um, maybe I want him to have his hands on his, or her, to have her hands up on her head. Um, you can have fun with this. You do what you want, okay? Um, twisting, twisting, twisting. And then I have to think about do I want it to be able to sit down, okay? This guy is sitting down on a little cube like this. If I want it to sit down, I kind of need to plan for that. Bend the legs, bend the torso a little bit around the cube, and then it should sit down nicely for you, okay? And then you can cover it with um, foil, just like we did the smaller figures, and you have a big sitting stick figure like that, okay? can sit on your computer even if you want to, or some standing um, stick figures, either dancing or doing other things, okay? So be creative and have fun with it.